shippers are concerned that overburdening them with numerous taxes was killing importers and exporters' initiative and drive in the maritime business. Unlike other parts of the world where levies and taxes are minimal, Ghana's move will be inimical to their growth and the economy. The internal tax collection mechanisms. I mean, if you look at the volumes of cargo that go to developed economies, if they were to collect duties on all of this in the port area before the goods leave the port, you would have difficulties. So what we should do is we strengthen the internal tax collection mechanisms, then classify goods which are of high risk in terms of duty evasion. Then gradually, over a long period, we can collect our duties from inside of the country rather than from the port, which means what you have done is you have moved the center of the collection to a different place altogether. And then there are a few things that we have to do at the port. Basically inspection, you know, very quickly uh, inspect whether it's conformed, look at high risk levels. So what kind of risk levels and profiling we are talking about particular cargoes. Coupled with a myriad of challenges and cumbersome procedures amounting in delays, shippers say the short term measure of port expansion could ease the pressure and fasten the processes. But the emphasizing on duties as a major revenue will solve part of the problem. If we bring on wholesome food and consume on wholesome food, we we'll wake up one day with many people dead. So it is important that they play their roles, but there must be a deeper penetration of technology. We must also ensure that all of them, they put in place appropriate systems, especially in and around the port area, such that very quickly they can produce results after they have taken samples not to spend five days, six days before a report comes out and a permit is issued. If we were to deal with these problems, each of the agencies, I can tell you, it's important. Whether it's EPA, whether it's uh, the police giving permits for explosives, the main issue is how they carry out their work. Soliciting views from the port community, the Parliamentary Subcommittee on Road and Transport wants to help deal with current port congestion affecting the maritime industry.